it is time for the sitting scarecrow. Yes. When we went to Spirit and got a bunch of stuff, this is the thing that all of you guys told us was like the scariest one they had, and we're very excited to put it together. By the way, Lord Raven finally showed up in the mail, like finally. five weeks later or something like that. They lost him several times, it was a whole thing. So he's coming up soon too, but this one, very excited. So he sits there, looks unassuming, kind of this frumpy scarecrow, and then he's got a motion sensor, and when the trick-or-treater walks up, he snaps his head up and uh, yells at them, maybe? I'm not really sure, we'll see. <laughs> he kind of looks like the scarecrow from Wizard of Oz though. I, it's hard to imagine this being scary. So we're gonna take it apart, we're gonna unbox it, put it all together, show you how it works, but then give him a makeover. Give him a little blow up. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, I think that's a candy bowl. It comes with a candy bowl? Yeah. Okay, okay. Got a, oh, a stick. A pole of some sort. <laughs> pole B. No way. There's instructions. Our empty soul girl had no instructions and neither did the swing mechanism. So this is a happy surprise. <laughs> Spirit, you're moving up in the world. Good job. Does he come out all at once? Maybe. I don't want to break him. Wait, how about we tilt? Just like dump him out. <laughs> I was gonna say just pull him out. First. Oh, that works too. Oh. There we go. Can we just leave him like curled up like this? Like... Yes. Okay, okay, what we got? Hmm. He's got some boots, he's got a little hat. <laughs> the way he's unfolding right now is cracking me up. He's got some little fluffy arms. Well, how okay. do you stand up, mister? It, uh, it just occurred to me, there's no chair. I mean, it's a small box, so that's kind of like obvious now that I'm thinking about it. But we don't have a chair. There is no chair. Man, and I was excited about that chair too, because the chair yeah. in this picture looks awesome. It, yeah, it does. Well, I wonder if he could sit on the ground too. That'll be something to test. Like, what if, what if you, you know, maybe you're out there, you don't have any chairs for somehow. <laughs> Let's look at the instructions here. Parts, bowl, center pull, head with clothes and face, and adapter. Adapter? Yeah, it's in Oh, it is? Yeah. This one came oh, with the cord. Oh, wait, no. No? It's right here. Oh, check out this candy bowl. It's just like... Oh, is the motion sensor in the oh, bowl? Oh, there we go. I'm like, why would they nice. include a bowl but not a chair? Like, All right, he needs to stand up. We yeah. have to put his pole in. Open the zipper located under the back of the scarecrow's pants. And then the pole goes where B says. It needs to go through this foam. There's a little piece of foam in here. Oh. It needs to go inside of that. Okay. Velcro him back up, zip up his butt. <laughs> it's not bad. He's got this hat, which is definitely attached. His arms are very floppy. Floppy arms, but as there's always. there's a tiny bit of stuffing in there. Okay. More stuffing in his legs, actual boots, instead of like stuffed things, so that's cool. Yeah, there's certainly more to him than we're used to with some of these, so that's a, that's a good start. Yeah. You wanna hook up the bowl and see what he does? Yes. Okay, so you hook up the wires. And then there's these Velcro thingies here. Now we just gotta plug them in? Let's plug them in. Ready? Go! Oh. <laughs> okay, that the was The kids awesome. are gonna be traumatized. <laughs> if our son sees this, he will never go near it ever again. Never. That's pretty good. You know what makes it too is the screaming is like, way over the top. The snap of the head is pretty fast. Yeah. It's good. Okay, okay. This is cool. I think this is really neat. You know what I do like about it is it does look like it's just a stuffed scarecrow. It doesn't look like it's gonna do anything. It almost looks like a static set piece that you would just have in the background. You know what else I really like? There's a speaker jack, which is huge because you probably can't hear it that well, but the quality of the sound that comes out of those tiny little speakers is not that great. So we're gonna hook up a better speaker so that it's like, wow, like really, you know, right. like some bass too. I'm excited for that. I don't know, what, do you, what are your first impressions like with the whole? Again, he's okay, but I want him to be scarier before you approach him. Like I want someone who's going up to him to be a little like, that's, that's a scary scarecrow. Let's go shopping, make a plan, we'll be back. I guess we should just start kind of taking him apart. Yeah. See what we're working with. Yeah, let's take the hat off and this head thing off at least, and see what's underneath. Oh, he's actually got a face under here. What? No kidding. Wow, you know, that's <laughs> really interesting. Come on. Okay. This is like a really decently sculpted face. It's got a screaming mouth and there's cheekbones and eyes. 
but none of that is coming through on the burlap. I mean, it's literally got a tongue and teeth and everything. That's crazy. It's crazy that this is underneath that burlap because we can use that. Wow. Maybe That's... they just had like an extra head, a bunch of like extra heads and they figured yeah. we'd just use them as bases. This reminds me of like when you're doing renovation on a home and you like pull up the linoleum and there's like beautiful oak hardwood <laughs> floors, you know, underneath it. What other surprises are awaiting <laughs> us here? We got a decent set of shoulders. Mm -hmm. I like the shoulders. Yeah. As usual, we have these little things which we can attach our pool noodles to for the arms. I like what we're working with. Yes, I'm pleasantly surprised. We're gonna start off by weathering the shirt. It already has this tattered edge, but it's like the super cheesy triangle tattered edge. So I'm gonna try and take a wire brush and mess that up a little bit more. And then we'll go in with some paints and do a bunch of darker areas and just make it really dirty and gross. Before, after. I stabbed myself. <laughs> with the wire brush. Like it went right in there. Ow. Band-aid time? Band-aid time. Just wrap it in burlap. Yeah, like that's, a that's room. Badass scarecrow. Okay. How we doing? Doing good. First pass, yeah. what do you think? Yeah. That looks awesome. Good job. Thanks. I think we're gonna reuse this burlap for the face or at least part of it, but we wanna detach the hat because we're gonna do something different with that. So underneath there's a stitch and I'm gonna use a stitch ripper to, or a thread ripper, what, I don't know what these are called. I'm just gonna rip the, the, the stuff and take it off. We're done with the boots. I really like how they turned out. I think they're awesome. The last step we're gonna do is spray some random parts with this matte clear enamel spray. Real leather is shiny in some areas, matte in the others. Kind of depends on how much like it's been worn. So this should help replicate that look. Moving on to the pants and we picked up some khakis at the thrift store for $4.99. We're about to ruin them, but <laughs> you know, they're pretty nice pants. But we wanted something light to sort of contrast against the, you know, the dark green shirt. And these are nice because they're stiffer, so they're gonna hide his lack of bone structure better. <laughs> his lack of body. <laughs> Take off your pants, Mr. Scarecrow. Now that we've painted a bunch of clothes, <laughs> what I've learned is that if you get it wet first before you put your paint washes on, then your paint washes like spread in a much nicer way. So make it wet, then apply the paint. Yes. Those are dirty pants. Got like some oil stains and some dirt stains and the scarecrow is just, he's been around the block. He's been around a while. This is like old car hearts you've been wearing every day for two years on the job site, you know? It's like, scarecrow's been working. <laughs> is scaring crows dirty work? <laughs> I mean, usually you're in the like the cornfield or whatever, you know, it's muddy, there's ghosts. And you should put little like corn kernels on it. Yeah, totally. That'd be gross. <laughs> so next, we are gonna give this young man a lobotomy. We have to take his head apart because inside the head, we're gonna put some lights and we're gonna attempt to make him have glowing eyes. You have your scalpel ready? Brain saw, skull saw. <laughs> Poor guy looks like he's screaming in agony because you're cutting his head off. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll all be over soon. There's nothing weird about this at all. We just got one of those sticky back LED strips and we're gonna stick it in there and then the wires are gonna go through his head and plug in back down at the bottom. Bam. Doesn't seem very bright. Mm -mm. We're gonna have these little eyeball things that we made that are gonna go in here. This is actually one of those clear Christmas ornament things that we use all the time. I wanna frost it. 
because right now it's just totally see-through, but if we give it a little bit of a frosting, it'll diffuse the light. The easiest way to do this is to just use a little piece of sandpaper and sand the inside. Yeah, it's just not bright enough. So I think we're gonna move the LEDs closer. Okay, we were messing with stuff and Jamie had a much simpler idea, which is to just stuff Christmas lights in his head, <laughs> which works great. All right, we hot glued one bulb into each little eye socket so that, you know, it glows like that. And now we can just stuff the rest in, I think. It should look pretty cool. There's some easy DIY glowing eyes. Pretty pumped with how good that came out. Well, he's gross. Yes. Yep. He certainly is. Wow. Nice job, though. That looks so cool. Thanks. Y'all, he looks real weird right now. <laughs> There's a point in every project where it just looks super weird and you go, what the heck are we even making right now? And I think we're at that point. Yep. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> I think if we get the face on, it'll start looking like a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to do the face next. Yeah, we've kind of been leaving that till the end because I think that's like, it's like the most critical part, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with cutting this right down the center because we want the seam there. So I'm going to prioritize that first. Do we give him a smile now? Yes. Okay. Like a big Joker smile. The, the creepiest, like, uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Gotta make the other side match. <laughs> 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 I feel like that was the hardest part of this whole project. It really was. It's and the part I was scared of. Now we're over the hill. Now we can start cruising. Woohoo! <laughs> so, hair. Hair. Move this stuff. This is called raffia. It's paper. It's pretend straw. We'll just glue it on, right? I'm just, yeah, I think we can we're going to glue it on. Give him a haircut later. So, let's just glue a lot of hair on for now. And we can trim off what we don't want. You know, my sister is a hairdresser and she had to go to school to learn how to cut hair. She had to do a lot of training. She probably could have just practiced on scarecrows. Don't cut yourself, Jay. Are you doing this right, Amanda? She didn't even watch our videos. This is how we'll know. The floor of our shop looks like a barn right now. This is the hay everywhere. You look like a farmer wizard. <laughs> a farmer wizard. <laughs> I only cast agriculture-based spells. Grow tomatoes. This has a wire in the brim. That's kind of neat. It does, and I want to add more wire to it because the goal of the hat is this cone is going to be really long and curly and cool looking. So we're going to put wire in that. So you're going to go from farmer wizard to like proper wizard. Yeah. So something like that. Yeah. Maybe. This is the same stuff we always use. It's like 12 gauge wire. That long? Sure. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hot glue it in here. Okay. Glue it in, now what? Just kind of bend it? I think. That's as far as your plan went. <laughs> okay. Got this. And then this slides over this way. It, it gets stuffed a little bit. Yeah, what do we stuff it with? Oh, Ooh, for I know what we can stuff it with. For burlap? Look. Straw. I mean, it seems more appropriate to be stuffing, you know, the scarecrow with straw, because that's like how they work, right? Yes! <laughs> you know, that reminds me of the queen's hat from Elden Ring. Remember that? <laughs> the giant sorcerer hat. 
<laughs> that is so ridiculous. Okay, okay. How is this going to? <laughs> It's gonna be fine. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna glue this on to the hat. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, do it. Look, this is an amazing hat. It's spectacular. <laughs> this is great. I kind of just want to keep it like this. <laughs> Does now it stay up? No. Wait. I mean, sort of. Whoa. <laughs> Look, it's maybe a terrible idea. We'll, we'll get there. Okay, let's make a brim. <laughs> I think now we should try to bend it. Yeah, shape it up. To see if we even like it. This might not work. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay. Lordy. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna fall off, oh, isn't it? Oh God. This is really heavy. How did it get so heavy? I don't know. Okay. We may have overdone it on the hat. It's too it's big. Too comically large. It doesn't support itself. <laughs> okay, I take it back. This was the hardest part, the hat. It was way harder than the face. We got it. I led us down a strange path, but we recovered, we came back. It's... Yeah, I like what we ended up with though. It's a lot smaller, a lot shorter. This thing is kicking our butt, you guys. <laughs> Okay, we plugged him in, everything's together, and uh, as you can see, he's... <laughs> Leaning way down. We put a lot of weight on the head, so there's a pretty good chance this is going to break when we fire it off for the first time, so we wanted to show you guys. Whatever spring is in there is not strong enough. <laughs> It doesn't work at all. <laughs> Great. We made the coolest looking scarecrow, but broke the prop. Well, now what? <laughs> all right, so basically there's a spring in his neck that is tensioned for his normal weight. And because we've added so much weight to the head, it's not strong enough to, to snap him up. So. But you know what? He looks awesome. <laughs> The good news is, if we take his hat off... He still works. Like, he's not broken. It's just this hat weighs like 25 pounds. It's a really heavy hat. What weighs so much? Is it the wire? Is it all the burlap? <laughs> How did we make the giant, like, the heaviest hat in the world? But we're gonna fix him. We're back. We fixed it. So we took these things out of his head and just went back to the LEDs. That gave us some weight. We took the wire out of the hat, took the burlap stuffing out of the hat, stuffed it with some plastic tarp instead. A couple other things we did is we actually leaned him back just a hair so that gravity helps a little bit. And we positioned the hat kind of towards the back of his head so that as much of that weight as possible is back. So that as the head flips backwards, it works. We removed about 450 grams of weight and still got it to look basically the same slower than he used to be, but he's still terrifying. Before we show you his final form, we just want to say thanks for watching. We have a ton of other Halloween projects on our channel if you want to check those out. Until next time, stay wicked.
Thank <laughs> you.